This is Jeff Kubiak with Metchem Poly Products, and this is the Metchem one cubic foot 470 millimeter filter press. Manual operation. It's expandable to two cubic feet. There's a distance piece in here that allows you to add additional plates in the future to double its size. This one is equipped with a catwalk so that you can operate the uh, filter press. It's elevated with a disposal chute so that you can then dump into a 55 gallon drum. This is a manual pump. It's two stage pump, has two modes. One is high volume, low pressure, which allows you to move a lot of fluid and close that cylinder when the platen is all the way back, it takes a while to get there. And then as it touches the plates, it gets hard to pump and then it shifts into high pressure, low volume. And you can build up pressure quite easily to get to the target set point. The target pressure on the manual 470 is 4,000 PSI. There are two kinds of plates in the filter press, designated by either a one button or a three button marking on the handles. As you walk by the filter press, you can easily see the 13131 one, sequence. Buttons are all only on this side. There are no buttons on that side. So if there's a handle that's not showing buttons, that plate could be in backwards. The reason for the 13131 one, one sequence is for the air blowdown process, which pushes the air through the, the filter cake uh, appropriately, and we'll talk about that. But the point is here that there's two different kinds of plates and they should be sequenced 1313 three throughout the length of the press. Once the hydraulic ram is closed and up to pressure, the operator then comes to this side and makes sure that all of these big ball valves are open and this ball valve is closed. This is for the air blowdown. Then once you've verified that, you can turn the diaphragm pump on. The air then feeds the diaphragm pump and starts filling the filter press. As the filter press becomes filled with solids, it becomes harder to push through. So the pressure feeding the diaphragm pump will have to be gradually increased as the back pressure increases in the filter press. Our maximum feed pressure is 100 PSI. So once you've increased the pressure to 100 PSI, you then have to let it run and slow down and slow down until that pump deadheads. And you can define deadheading as a stroke every 10 seconds, maybe a stroke every 10 minutes. Once you've achieved that deadheaded pressure of 100 PSI, you shut the pump off and begin your air blowdown process. The air blowdown process is done by closing these three valves on the return manifold, as well as the inlet ball valve. Now you have clean, dry air on your inlet set to 35 or 40 PSI. You'll let this come in. The air then goes into this upper left-hand corner. The air enters every other plate as designated by the 1313 sequencing of the plates. That's why that sequence is important. So the air enters every other plate, it comes in behind the cloth, it blows through the cloth, through the sludge into the adjacent plate, which did not receive any air, but with it now the air is pushing any residual water uh, through that cloth, through the plate, and it drains left to right, top to bottom, and you'll notice there's no valve on this bottom right hand corner. The air and leftover water is forced out through this port and dries that cake even further. You would let this run for 15 minutes or so. Experimentation will tell you what's best for your application. Once that process is done, you close the air, and then you can open the press and dump the sludge cake. The hydraulic system is manual closure. Right now, we're full pressure, we're energized, we're pushing against the plates. When it's time to empty the filter press, we open the manual valve and allow the spring to retract the cylinder. Once the steel plate has been retracted hydraulically, you can now shift the plates to get the sludge out of each chamber. That's done manually by just pushing each plate over. 
The operator at this time is visually inspecting each of the cloths to make sure they're intact. There's no rips or tears. The O-rings are in place and he keeps shifting. We have a sludge spatula that ships with each filter press so that you can knock off any sludge that may be uh, clinging to the cloths. But you keep shifting plate by plate visually inspecting and dumping the sludge into the disposal chute, which then feeds the 55 gallon drum in this case. The standard filter press is low enough that you can put a roll off dumpster underneath the filter press. This one is equipped with the optional disposal chute. The legs are longer, there's a funnel that feeds a 55 gallon drum in this case. This can also be configured to feed a sludge disposal bag complete with hooks to hang the bag. This one is configured to hold or feed a drum. Once the drum is full, forklift can come in or a pallet jack, take the drum out, you seal it and haul it away.